Hello, fifth graders. This is chapter two, lesson six, and chapter two, lesson seven of the Ecosystem Restoration Unit. Similar to lesson three and four, we are going to be combining lesson six and seven. For lesson six, we will be doing all activities, and for lesson seven, we will be skipping activity two. So let's get started. So we read a case study about restoring aspen trees in Yellowstone. So think back and try to remember what did ecologists do to restore the aspen trees? Think back again. How do you think the scientists convinced people about the connection between the wolves, the elk, and the aspen trees? Today, we are going to read a book to explore more about how and why scientists argue and support their claims with evidence. We will be reading, Why Do Scientists Argue? We'll read about a scientist named Rachel Carson who investigated ecosystems. She was concerned that pesticides were harming plants and animals. The image to the left is a picture of Rachel Carson. Today, we are going to investigate this question. How do scientists convince others that their claims are correct? Think about your experience making scientific arguments in this unit. Maybe specifically think about when we looked at claim one and claim two and answer this question. How do you think scientists convince others that their claims are correct? To answer this question, you can write the answer in your chapter two, lesson six seven activity packet in a notebook, or you can talk about the answer with someone near you, or you can think about the answer in your head. Pause the video and answer this question now. As we read, I want you to think about what Carson did to convince other scientists of her claim. We can look for connections between what she did and what we've been doing in our arguments. Okay. We are going to read, Why Do Scientists Argue? To read this book, see the separate reading video of this book. Before you do that though, I want you to turn to page 46 of your Ecosystem Restoration Workbook or page three of your chapter two, lesson six, six dash seven packet and do the page that says getting ready to read. Why do scientists argue? Pause the video and answer those questions. After you've read, why do scientists argue? I want you to think about this. We know that a scientific argument starts with a claim. So in the book, what was Rachel Carson's claim? Remember, you need to read the book before you answer the next couple questions. To answer this question, you can write the answer in your chapter two, lesson six seven activity packet in a notebook. You can talk about the answer with someone near you, or you can think about the answer in your head. Pause the video and answer this question. Rachel Carson's claim was not what other scientists thought at the time. So answer this question next. What did other scientists claim? To answer this question, you can write the answer in your chapter two, lesson six seven activity packet in a notebook. You can talk about the answer with someone near you, or you can think about the answer in your head. Pause the video and answer this question. Next, let's think about what Rachel Carson did to convince others that her claim was correct and was supported by evidence. We can think about how this is similar to what scientists today do and how it was also similar to what we have been doing as we have made arguments about ecosystems. That concludes activity one and two of lesson six. Go to the next video for the next activity.